<laughs> a lot of the folks here uh, have achieved success at a young age, as, as you have. And we did, we had our, our crack research department, we call him Sean, uh, <laughs> did some research on you guys, the top 40s, and they said, okay, what is it that, that got these guys and these gals to such heights so quickly? And Sean found out something interesting. He said, the average age of the top 40s this year is 34.4. So some are younger, obviously, some are older, but the average age is 34.4. He extrapolated back and said, out of that then, most of these uh, people were graduating high school around 92, 93. Most of your grad years would have been around there. If you're older, might have been in your university years. So he went back and he looked at that and he said, okay, 92, 93, maybe there was an amazing scientific discovery that happened yeah. that would have led to your guys' success. Or maybe there was a big uh, medical uh, advance that would have led to something. And then he found it. It was in the music. And the lyrics to the songs that you guys were listening to in 1992 and 93. So what he did is he said, while the rest of us were just bopping around, you guys were actually carefully listening to the music. So we thought we would show you some great music that obviously led to their success. So to help us do that, we thought we need somebody wise, somebody with gravitas, somebody we all believe and trust, and someone who tells us what it is like it is every night. And to help us do that, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome to our stage Mr. Daryl Jans. Oh. Daryl. <laughs> If you stand right there, Daryl, that's perfect. Uh, Daryl, <laughs> let us set this up for you. We're going to, uh, Dom, can we get some music, please? Some, uh, to sort of give you the mood here. Very good. The first piece of music from 1992 is, in a business sense, understanding and identifying the opportunity, right? You were able to do that, Brett, to be able to say, of all the opportunities out there, how do you identify the one opportunity that's going to be right for you. This is how you guys figured it out in 1992. Daryl? Whoa! There it is. <laughs> Thank you very much, Daryl. Uh, Daryl Jans, everybody. <laughs> our, our second one is, um, okay, you've identified your, your, your core business, but sometimes, as you know, and all of you that are business folks know, it's easy to drift. It's easy to get into something else that's not your core business. How did you guys know to stick to your core business? Daryl. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. <laughs> no, I won't do that. Daryl Jams. And, and finally, Daryl, uh, our last one, and this is something I know you tell your kids, I've heard you uh, talking to them, to say, follow your passion. Do what you love and the money will follow. Don't worry about the career, don't worry about what's out there, just do what you love. And that seems easy enough, but, but how, do you, how do you know what you love? How do you, how do you figure that out? How do you say, this is what I truly love? Daryl? I like big butts, and I cannot lie. Daryl Jans, everybody. <laughs> how, how did you call?